If you get video of Sarah Palin or get a soundbite from her, bring that back to us. You can hold the Ron Paul stuff. That's the one thing Donald Trump has ever been right about is that he's unelectable. We are in the business of kicking candidates out of the race. This Ron Paul is going to destroy this party. Paul is doing very well out in Iowa, and I don't think that's going to thrill a lot of the Republican establishment. My friends, we have reached a tipping point in the United States. Congressman Ron Paul a true defender of liberty and freedom, a man who's never compromised in his speeches, but more importantly, in his actions with his votes in Congress, a person who has an absolutely perfect voting record when it comes to the Constitution, is surging right now. He has won the coveted CPAC straw poll two years in a row. He has dominated the New Hampshire straw poll. He came in second place, despite the fact that Michelle Bachman admittedly bought 4,000 votes in the Iowa straw poll. He is winning all over the country, other straw polls, other online polls, scientific polls. He's gotten more money from the military than all the other Republicans combined, and he's gotten more than Obama got. Think about that. And the list goes on and on and on. He is routinely in the top five search terms on Google. Other candidates don't even show up. But something else is happening here. You may go outside and see that the sky is blue. The so-called mainstream, and they're not really mainstream anymore. And that's the tipping point I'm about to get to. The so-called mainstream media is been beating the drum with this mantra that Ron Paul can't win. Ron Paul's a joke. The system is running scared in a headlong panic of Ron Paul. They knew his potential in 2008 and successfully sold the hoax that he was unelectable. But this time, the shrill cries are deafening from Rush Limbaugh hatefully talking about how Ron Paul will destroy their precious neocon warmongering party. If this Ron Paul is going to destroy this party if they keep, if, if this, this, this is nuts on parade. To CNN pundits saying there's no way he can win. If you look at the top two here, Michelle Bachman followed by Ron Paul, um, you could argue that the polls are showing those are among the two that do the worst put up against President Obama. To reports at Politico where they say Michelle Bachman gets first place, Palenti gets third, no mention of Ron Paul. Why are they so scared of Ron Paul? Well, the ruling class of this country, the Fortune 100, the private Federal Reserve, have amassed their wealth through monopoly. They've amassed their wealth through uh, insider, anti-capitalist, crony systems. And now their system is basically imploding because of their uh, corrupt policies and activities and looting. And here's Ron Paul, who's called it every step of the way with incredible precision, who has the constitutional answers to get our country back on the right track, and the system is scared to death. They're like vampires faced with a cross or holy water or a truckload of garlic, they are in absolute panic mode because they've looked at the numbers and they know Ron Paul is the real front runner in the 2012 election. And they know that if he continues to catch on, even their electronic voting machines won't be able to stop a landslide. And if they did, the public would see right through it. So they have to convince you that he's unelectable. They have to sell you on the idea that, oh, I like Ron Paul, but he's not available. You know, he can't win. The fact that Ron Paul is the true front runner and is popular across the political spectrum and major political analysts have had to admit that only Ron Paul can effectively beat Barack Obama. That's why the system is scared of him. And that illustrates how awake people are that Ron Paul is the most popular. And if this was a fair game and wasn't rigged, would be our next president. So some of you then say, well, Alex, why are you supporting Ron Paul if you think it's rigged? Well, we've got to fight whether it's rigged or not. 
Ron Paul is in there injecting real issues about the Federal Reserve, torture, uh, preemptive wars, uh, the inflation tax. Everything that he's warned us about is now coming true. And so he's there bearing testament to the truth and rallying more and more young people. You know, the Bilderberg Group three years ago panicked, according to our sources, and said, the kids aren't into mainline neocon conservatism. They're not into communism. Both systems we control, they're into true libertarianism. They're into constitutionalism. They're rediscovering the laws and the systems and the civilization that defeats tyrants. They're discovering the shield that allows people to grow and live and be prosperous. And in closing, that is the most important point. The tipping point is reached. Ron Paul's popularity is growing exponentially. And it is a manifestation of how popular liberty is and the fact that the spirit of 1776 is being rediscovered. And the tipping point is more illustrated by the full court press when they saw him getting standing ovations and winning that Republican primary with all those other wolves attacking this lion. And the fact that the public that was there watching was totally sold on his message. They panicked and threw everything they could Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at him. They sent in Bachman to buy the votes. They did it all. All the stops were removed. They gave full power to their system. And what happened? They failed. And so today on Monday, oh, Politico changed their headline. It was Bachman won and Paul came in second. And uh, Associated Press came out and said, once a fringe candidate, Paul shaping 2012 race. He's the leader, Associated Press. That's the proof of the total tipping point being reached. We're right on the cusp. We've got to put our maximum effort in. Is article after article after article after article saying Ron Paul was treated wrong. Ron Paul was screwed. Ron Paul can win. Uh, it's a hoax that Ron Paul can't win. They already knew that beforehand, but you caught them. They came and told you that you couldn't have Ron Paul. They told you he wasn't an option on the menu. You came in and you said, I want the flamme mignon with the agrotin potatoes and green beans. And they said, sorry, sir, it's not on the menu. You said it is on the menu. And they said, oh, it's a mistake, it's not. And you looked over and watched them deliver a plate of it to somebody. You're going, no, I know that's on the menu. And so they're like, oh, you're right. He is on the menu. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, Ron Paul is, is in the forefront. But let's look at Rick Perry over here. You know, he was Al Gore's campaign chairman in Texas. Uh, he, he, did, he does support forced inoculations. He has nice hair. He talked about secession. How does that sound? They are throwing everything at the American people right now. The bankers either gain the whole world through their fraud or they lose it all now. They have gambled everything. They will either succeed now or fall forever. And it's the same thing for the March of Liberty. We succeed because we resist. And the system is running scared of Ron Paul right now. Their attempt to sell the public on the fraudulent idea that he's unelectable. No one is unelectable if you decide to elect them. Don't let them choose for you. Their scam may have worked three and a half years ago, but now when someone so clearly is a front runner, he should be our next president. And they're gonna pull out every stop just like they did with Rand Paul. But as that election illustrates, no amount of lies and spin is going to stop the people once they're aware of the fraud. Once you're aware of the magician's trick, no amount of bull will sell you on the fraud anymore. The tipping point is here. They got their hind ends handed to them when they ran the hoax that he couldn't be elected. And now they're backing off, but only for a time. They'll be back with new tricks. Maybe they'll say Ron Paul kidnapped a woman, like they said about Rand, or that he kept black slaves in his basement, or that he's part alien. Maybe uh, they'll say that he hurts little puppy dogs. You better know they're going to try to assassinate his character and his name because they're trying to assassinate the idea of liberty and freedom. But all the king's horses and all the king's men cannot put the New World Order's garbage and propaganda back together again because we know they're a pack of criminal liars. I'm Alex Jones reporting from the front lines of InfoWars. Thank you for watching.
ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.